Welcome to Win Wednesday, where we willfully ignore the nonsense. Today, I wanted to encourage you to willfully ignore the nonsense of self-doubt, which can try to come into your life and cripple you. When we look back in time at African Americans who made a difference in history, these figures possess confidence. When they walked into a room, they didn't allow anyone to make them feel as if they didn't belong in the room. Dr. Carter Woodson, who is known in history for being the father of Black History Month, wrote in a book entitled The Miseducation of the Negro. Lack of confidence in an African-American man in himself and in his possibilities is what keeps him dead. to yourself, you know, it's much easier said than done, Melissa. It may be hard to find your own inner confidence, but it's important that we tap into our God-fidence. That's our God-given confidence. As you remember from Sunday school, we know that Moses was not looking forward to go on the mission that God was sending him to, to go speak to Pharaoh. He came up with every excuse in the book and God had to remind him that I will be your mouth. I will give you the words to say. So before you walk into the room, make sure you tap, tap, tap into God, tap into your God-given confidence and know that you belong in that room and don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. Know that if God has created the opportunity for you, he has equipped you with the tools and the resources and the confidence that is needed to own the room. God has even allowed you to be the one that is opening the doors for others so that they too can feel welcome into the room. CC, know that you are fearfully and wonderfully created by God. You belong in the room and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. If you say, you know what, Melissa, I don't have that relationship with God. I'm lacking confidence. It's always very easy. All we have to do is believe in Jesus Christ that he died on the cross for your sins and he rose again and your sins are forgiven past present and future and from that you start to build your relationship with God. In any area of your life where you are weak, you can tap into God's strength and now you are strong. Be blessed and encouraged. Until next time, CC. You gotta win. Come on now, win. Hopefully ignore the nonsense.